Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. It's a Tuesday, 6-9-2020. I received an email this morning from a good brother that lives in New York. His name's uh, Brother Anthony. And he came across this video I'd made last year. So the date, and he pointed this out to me that the screenshot, I was searching for protests in the street. And so I went back and have reviewed this video, and I'd like to play the majority of it for you to prove that Jesus Christ is pouring out dreams. He is pouring out visions. Uh, he, there is this uh, prophetic gift that he could give to you, and that you can walk in your gift and walk in your calling and be encouraged that Jesus Christ does give dreams and visions and prophecies to men and women, just like the Bible says that he's real and that you should follow him and give him your heart and soul. It's real. And I'd like to prove that for God, to give God all the glory out of this. So the date on this video is October 26th, 2019. I will link to this in the video description so you can play it so let's it without further ado it's called this is profound my prophetic dream the cupcake treaty a dream of civil war a racial civil war you ready so this dream is it's it when you first hear it you're going to be like well that's just silly but then when you realize what God does, you're going to be like, that's profound. I'm telling you, this is a profound dream that had a profound effect on my life, on how it played out. So me and a couple other people were guarding this restaurant outside. And there's a protest kicking up. You can see a bunch of protests here. I've got it. See my head? Yes. Do you really see it? Multiple people. Gathering. Protesting. Protesting. Stop climate crime. <sighs> anyway, this protest that we're monitoring, we become involved in it. We're 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 like brought right into the middle of this protest, and there's weapons. There's sticks there's the people have had it and, and this is like i want to say it's a racial war but it's a civil war it was, it's a civil war and it's pace uh, and it's put towards different groups I, I can't describe it so we were there to try to prevent it but it just swept the whole town and then it swept the whole city then it swept the whole county, and then it swept the whole state. And this thing was just growing massively. It was a civil war. And it came to a head towards the end of the dream. You know, dreams seem like they're forever, but I doubt it was. At the end of the dream, there was this bloody, just all-out brawl. And uh, we ended up getting taken into custody, and we're being carried. We're being carried up this thing, and I, I up this hill, and I heard... I heard one of the people say, if such and such, and they were referring to a man, this is exactly what he said. I'll just say, like, Mr. Johnson, just, but that wasn't the name of the dream. I wasn't given the, the knowledge of the name of the dream. So the, 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 the Civil War is kind of ending, and they're carrying us as prisoners, like, up this hill, and we're in custody. And the guy goes, you know, if, if Mr. Johnson wouldn't have signed that cupcake treaty towards the end, this thing would have went on forever. And then I instantly woke up and I'm thinking, cupcake treaty? I mean, how strange is that cupcake treaty, you know? I mean, like cupcakes, right? And then I thought, oh, it's a treat. Look, my head, I'll show you. I'm like, oh, it's a treat. Get it? Cupcake treat. Cupcake I love treaty. Cupcakes, oh. I love the cupcakes. I like cupcakes too. Do we have any cupcakes? Yeah, okay. What do we got? Red licorice. Fine. Cupcake treaty. 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 Cupcake
cupcake treaty. And so I look at these, and it, it's recipes and this and that, and I scroll down. Now watch, watch how God reveals things. I go down one, two, three, number four. Number four down, it says, The Third Woe, book two of the Third Peril Trilogy. And in here it says, Go get a sweater and tell mom that they ratified the treaty. Joy's face lit up. Like the cupcake treaty, treaties mom made for class. And so I just clicked on this, right? And it brings me to this book. And they're talking about uh, this treaty. I, I, I kid you not, they're talking about this treaty. And I just kept scrolling. See, like right here it says, He watched until the brilliant hues of the sunrise faded over the desert. He grabbed his pocket knife and turned his attention to the bundle of newspapers. And he cut the twine and began to read the words that were splashed across the front page of the Tucson Sentinel. North American Coalition Treaty Sign. An acquaintance of David, a Mexican-American named Alberto Vegas, who had served as a liaison between the U.S. and Mexico, was quoted extensively. And I began to scroll down. And... I got to this part, and it's talking about the third peril, and it begins to talk about Israel and the Temple Mount. I'm not kidding you. It was it was uh, it was chapter five. Let me see if I can find it. But it literally is. So, so long story short, the title of this book is the third woe. Let me get down to the part where it talks about Israel and stuff. I don't know if I could ever reduplicate that, but it was talking about beginning construction of the Temple Mount. Oh, chapter 6 is New York, so I bet you I've got it. This is bizarre. So in here it's talking about Israel. Let me just do it. Can I do an edit find? Edit find, and I'll put Temple. This thing never works. Is it in it? Oh. Says zero. Anyway, so it's talking about Israel in here and they have a peace treaty and a construction of the Temple Mount. So I went and looked up this book. And this is it, the third peril. There's it's a trilogy of three woes. And this book, so, let me see if I could go back one. If you look up this book, it was written in 2013. Right over here it says, in 1777, this is three sevens, General George Washington experienced the divine visitation of Valley Forge. Three great perils will come upon this nation. An angelic being describes the Revolutionary War and the Civil War, but warns the third peril will be the worst. Is this a true fact? Remember, I've, I've told you for like eight years now here on YouTube that history is my, my best subject. I don't know a lot about history because I didn't really take it in school. I graduated early. Does this really happen uh, with George Washington and this divine visitation about the three perils? So then I just put in, what is the third woe? And, and I come to this, uh, what are the three woes of Revelation? And you come down here and it talks about the third woe. Look, the third woe, let me make a pick. All of this from a dream. I mean, this is amazing. How it, the Bible says that uh, he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh in the last days and there will be dreams and Visions. It says, the third woe is revealed after the seven trumpet judgment. This woe is parallel to the trumpet that sounds in Joel 2 and signs the consummation of God's plan for the entire world. Listen, the third woe marks the finishing of God's judgment on sin. And it goes on to say, this series of judgment is the greatest horror the citizens of earth have ever seen, Jesus said. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. I was literally being carried as a prisoner. We were in tribulation and civil war had broken out everywhere. All of this, see this comes from these, these three woes. 
that are in this book, and the book title came from searching this uh, cupcake treaty. And so I just wanted to get this out here. This is one of those you see things that? where it's not insignificant. It's pointing candles? to the time that we're in. I believe it's amazing. I believe that this book, talking about these woes and talking about Israel. I don't know how I found it last time. It was both try going the other way. Just try a little harder to see if I can find it. I mean, what are the odds, I guess is what I'm saying about this. Them talking about this Temple Mount. Anybody heard of this book? Anybody believe? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was in chapter 5. Oh, here it is. I recognize that BMW. Watch this, listen. Oh, I just slipped out to a balcony for a little fresh air. Brody fiddled with the radio and tilted his head to listen to the news. Bartered in exchange for economic goodwill, Alistair Dorman has brokered a historic peace agreement in the Middle East. What? This is from Googling Cupcake Treaty for my dream. It's prophetic. Look. Israel has agreed to share their holy mount with the Muslim shrine Dome of the Rock. Construction is advancing on the new temple in Jerusalem. I mean, come on. I mean... I had a dream about Cupcake Treaty, woke up, came out here, Google Cupcake Treaty, Cupcake Treaty, and all this comes out. There is no way on heaven's earth that this is some type of coincidence. It's impossible. And I just wanted to show the people what say you, Gail Maxson. So that's the dream. <clears throat> I'm 100% I'm sure that the person in the dream, that when they said, if blank had not signed this treaty, I'm 100% certain that was Trump. And if you noticed in here, it talked about the North, the, the, the free trade agreement between Mexico and the United States was also in this book way back in 2013. That also was signed. So what I can clearly see in summary to this dream is that these protests will continue on and off throughout the year. And can you imagine, can anybody here imagine what the protests are going to be like? Well, we'll just call it riots when they announce who wins the next election, which is this year. So it's going to be, it's going to be some rough time for Header for. But the main thing was that the Holy Spirit told me that the church shall be kept through this. The church shall be kept through this. And so... There's things coming upon this world that are horrific, like the three woes. <clears throat> I'm interested in anybody has any more information on what's going on with the Donald Trump peace plan. That's what they call it, the Trump peace plan. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Please like and share.